This was a moment to be savoured by the supporters of soldiers A and C, delighted that the men they turned out for had been acquitted of murdering an IRA commander almost 50 years ago. I'm glad it happened the way it did. They deserved it. Former Veterans Minister Johnny Mercer had quit his job over cases like this. Today he was withering in his assessment of public prosecutors who pursued two former paras for the shooting of an IRA man, Joe McCann, in Belfast in 1972. They served their country uh, and for them 50 years later to be in, in court uh, on the stand for murder Right, all that's changed is the politics. There's no new evidence, I think, is shocking. But for the family of Joe McCann, today was a difficult setback in their quest for justice. The judge was right when he used the word appalling to describe the failure of the state at all levels in relation to the murder. The shooting of the IRA commander Joe McCann, pictured here with a rifle near to where he was shot, happened at the height of the Troubles. McCann commanded the official IRA's 3rd Belfast Battalion. He'd been personally involved in several attacks on British soldiers. His funeral was attended by the official IRA's chief of staff. The 27-year-old was unarmed when he was shot in the back as he tried to evade arrest. The Paris who shot him on this street in Belfast weren't questioned by the police at the time, part of a controversial agreement to protect them from prosecution. Instead, they were ordered to make statements to Royal Military Police without legal representation and not under caution. But both those and later statements to the historical inquiries team were ruled inadmissible by the judge today, causing the case to collapse. It's given hope to veterans like Dennis Hutchings, He's dying from kidney failure, but is still facing trial for the 1974 death of Pat Cunningham, who had learning difficulties and was shot as he ran away from an army patrol. Dennis Hutchings has always denied he was to blame. It's crazy. I mean, how can people, witnesses and everything else, remember, you know, the detail of what happened 50 years ago? You know, especially when, as a soldier, and you're on a patrol and you're in a hostile area, which it all was, and you have seconds to make decisions. The conflict in Northern Ireland was bloody and brutal on both sides. Historical cases like today's have reawakened painful memories for everyone involved and has prompted questions about how Northern Ireland's troubled past can be subjected to fair justice almost half a century after events which still divide communities today.